Welcome to part two of the Special Forces Helmet tutorial. Let's continue. Begin by collecting pieces F, G, 1, G, 2, G, 3, and G, 4. These are going to make up the side rails. Apply glue along these sections of piece F, as well as the flat face of G1, G2, G3, and G4. Once the glue is set, place G1 here, at the top of the long section of piece F, with the outward cut facing away from piece F. Next, place G4 along the top of the short section of piece F, the same orientation as G1, with the outward cut face away from piece F. Then put G2 below G1 along the longer section like so. Then place G3 in the remaining spot here with the outward cut face away from F like the others. This completes the first side rail. Go ahead and make the second one following the same instructions. When both rails are complete, take one of the rails and mark out where it will be glued to the helmet. Place the side rail across the curve in the helmet like so. The long section of the rail should point forward. The back section of the rail, the shorter section, should line up with the back end of the curve of the helmet, and the rail should be just visible from inside the helmet, like so. Then try and match where each rail is going to go on either side of the helmet and mark these zones. Once you've marked where the rails will go, apply glue to this marked area on the helmet, as well as the bottom of the side rails. Once the glue is set, attach the side rails to the helmet. Alright, now we're going to attach the front mount, or piece H. Line up piece H along the front of the helmet using the center seam of the helmet to center it. Mark out where piece H will go, like so. Then apply glue to this marked area and the bottom face of piece H. Once the glue is set, place piece H onto the front of the helmet. Then glue inside the gap in the center piece H here. Also apply glue to one face of both eye pieces. Once the glue is set, place each eyepiece inside the gap of piece H, like I'm doing here. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome. Now we're gonna build the chin straps. Begin by applying glue to the inside of the helmet between piece C and E here. Apply glue to both ends of each K2 piece. Next, apply glue to the back of both L pieces, as well as both ends of K1. As the glue sets, lace K1 through one slit of each L piece like so. Then press K1 into both L pieces but only halfway onto the back. Then do the same with the square end of each K2 piece. Once this is done, glue the two K2 pieces to the inside of the helmet between the C and E pieces with the angled edge facing the front of the helmet. Next, apply glue to the edge of K1 and the side edges of J2. When the glue is set, glue J2 to K1 like so with the angled edges facing downwards away from the helmet. Alright, 
So for J1, I suggest attaching some Velcro to the end that's going to go to the back of the helmet. It does make it easier to take the helmet on and off. It's up to you. If you do not use Velcro, apply glue to both ends of each J2 piece to here on either end of piece D, as well as behind piece L, K1, and K2. Once the glue is set, attach J1 to the back of piece D inside the helmet, and then to behind piece L, K1, and K2. And with that, the helmet's complete. The last little piece of detail that you could add to the helmet is uh, using googly eyes as rivets or kind of screw mounts to both uh, F pieces and the front mount, as you can see. It's what I've done, and I recommend that you do, but that's up to you. Hope you enjoy the template as well as the tutorial. See you next time. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more cosplay content.